Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. It's been a long time coming. Let me get these lights right. This shit's gonna be perfect. So I'm about to drag your ass. Jam motherfucking day. doing today I hope you're doing well please find me on my social media any of those platforms and follow me and let's have fun on my pages and talk and you can see this shit happen in real time I'm just gonna jump right into it this is a crazy Viner video and this one has been a long time coming I'm just not gonna try to sugarcoat any of this and I've been thinking a lot about this since it happened it happened last week when I was in Seattle and if it had happened when I was at home, I would have immediately done a video and probably put it out as an extra. But I had to wait till I got home, which was good because it gave me time to think about it and time to address a few other things that I'm really fucking sick and tired of hearing from people like this. And so I'm going to clear a lot of things up in this video. And I'm going to use real names since y'all want to continuously bash me you know throw my name out there call me all sorts of things accuse me of all sorts of things and it really doesn't matter because you know what i hate to tell you crystal kent but vine is gone furthermore no one knew who the fuck you were on vine i know you like to think that you were well known i know you like to think that you were someone or something. I mean, we're all someone. We're all something. But you had this delusion of grandeur going on on Vine. I would have never known who you were if you had not started talking pure shit about me during the whole Curtis Lepore, Jesse Smiles rape situation. The first time I think I ever came across you was here where I live. Up until a few years ago, we were doing these fundraisers every year. Just so happens the last one we did was when Vine was around. I don't organize them. I don't run the organization. So I'm not sure why they're not doing that particular fundraiser anymore. They're doing other stuff. I do my volunteering at least 10 hours a month. Uh, anonymously and I speak to victims and so that for me is helpful for me and it's good to know that I'm helping other people but the first time I ever even heard of you Crystal Kent I'm going to continue to use your name because you want to bash me so I figured this was equal playing ground here so Crystal the first night I ever heard of you or even knew that you existed on this planet was the night that we did the fundraiser in 2014 I came home and we had just done a whole event I mean it was like midnight it was late I come home and there's a vine from some girl named Crystal Kent and she's basically bashing me saying that I use rape victims and I use the subject of rape to get attention on Vine. It was something like that. I know Crystal is from New York and I know that at some point she was friends or at least social media friends with Curtis Lepore's brother, which was a bragging point for her. She would bring that up here and there. I would see it brought up that, oh, Curtis's brother follows me and I met him one time or whatever. I don't know. All I know is that you were bragging about a rapist's brother being your friend. So I come home, I get on Vine and there's this girl and she's bashing me for talking about rape and for using rape as a platform in which to gain followers on this stupid fucking social media app. And I remember that I just told her like, I literally don't know who you are and I don't exactly know what your issue is with me, but I just got back from an event where we raised tens of thousands of dollars for victims of sexual assault, domestic violence. And so go fuck yourself. I like, I didn't know like, okay and that was the last thing I said to her but I would see her frequently her and the guy with the IQ of half a cherry tomato named Jeremy Riel I don't know if I'm saying your name right because I don't care enough to figure it out I have done videos about Jeremy in the past Jeremy is the one that vaped constantly well it started with cigarettes then it was a vape I don't know what your purpose in doing vine after vine after vine after vine after vine of yourself smoking in the camera and playing 
corn or insane clown pie or whatever the fuck it is you listen to. Like it was nonstop. That was how he vined, okay? Jeremy, I really didn't know who you were until we were coming out with the second book on Vine because just a little side note, if you don't know, me and two or three other people wrote a book, two different books about Vine and it was just interviews with Viners. And um, you can find them on Amazon. Here you go. Okay. I didn't know really who Jeremy was, but when it was time for the second book to come out, all of a sudden, here's this douchebag making vines, basically flipping me off in the camera, playing his heavy metal music or whatever the fuck it is that he listens to, and talking about how I use people for gain on vine and all sorts of other shit. Now it turns out that I had spoken to Jeremy before, I just remembered this, I had spoken to Jeremy before because I was doing like these campaigns on Vine where people would say, I care. And it would be like just different people saying, I care. Meaning I care about sexual assault, I care about people that have been affected by this. So he had been in that campaign, but now that I was putting a book out, he was pissed off at me for some reason. And, and so I'm just like, oh, okay. All right, so he would come for me. Okay, so I'm editing this and I'm remembering other things because this shit's been going on for like five years. I just wanted to add in that when I was doing things on Vine that a lot of people were participating in as far as um, projects, uh, different collaborations to raise donations for um, Rain and for um, the sexual assault service provider here where I live. When I was doing that, Crystal and Jeremy wanted to be involved. They wanted to participate. All of a sudden they cared about these issues because a lot of people were taking part in this and there were a lot of people were discussing it, people were sharing it, people were revining it. So of course they wanted a part in that. And Crystal would come for me. It was just like constantly. It was constant like, the, I, if it's not jealousy guys, I don't know what it is. You need to explain to me what it is because if you were not jealous, that is exactly what it looked like. I don't know if you're mad that you didn't think up a book first. I don't know if you're mad that you didn't have the platform that I had that I rightfully worked on and earned. I, I don't know what your problem is. I've never quite understood that, nor do I care. But my point is, do not come for me if I didn't call for you. And if I didn't call for you and you choose to come for me anyway, don't get mad when I'm better at this shit than you are, okay? Let me address a few things and then I'll explain why I'm doing this video today. Because something happened over the past weekend to make me do this video. I often get accused of being a bully. And to that I say, we are adults. This is on social media. Yes, I know cyberbullying is real, but I also know that I don't do that. I tend to address people myself, and then if other people choose to join in because they think you're acting like an asshole or a stupid fucking cunt. This video is rated petty as fuck. And yes, I said that word. If those people see what's going on and they agree with me and they decide to join in and tell your ass that you're a dumb fucking cunt, that is not, to me, cyberbullying. I'm not going to people and saying, hey, let's go pick on this person for no reason. If you choose to put things on the internet that inflame situations, if you choose to put things on the internet that are unpopular opinions, it's not on me that other people come for you and tell you that you're a fucking dumb cunt. Okay? That's not on me. I get accused all the time of, oh, well, you supposedly stand up for women, but then you're making fun of this woman, or you're being mean to this woman, or you're letting people attack this woman. I welcome you to go find where I ever stated that I am anti-bullying. I don't think bullying is a good thing, okay? Let me, let me say that first. I don't think bullying is a good thing, but I have never said that I was anti-bullying. If I see someone being bullied, most of the time I will stand up for that person, but I've never said I was anti-bullying because I think that in certain situations, sometimes your ass needs to get told about yourself, okay? If you want to say that's bullying, then that is your subjective view of it, and you can go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Also, I would like for you to point out where I ever said that I stand up for all women, that all women are safe under my wings. I never said that shit. If I see a woman doing or saying something stupid, I will tell that bitch about herself. I 
talk a lot about rape and sexual assault because yes, I am a survivor. People in my family have been through terrible things that I know about that I'm not going to sit here on YouTube and talk about. I have friends who have been sexually assaulted. So that is the platform that I speak on the most. That is where I volunteer my time. If that bothers you that I do that and you don't think I do it for the right reasons, I could not give a shit less. I could not give less of a fucking shit what you think of what I do. I know what I do and I know the impact that it has not only on the people that I help but on but on myself. Okay it helps me to help other people. I used to rant and rave about this all the time. People know that. There was not a day that would go by that I wouldn't talk about rape or sexual assault because I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know what to do. I had come to this realization in 2014 because of things that were going on. I realized exactly what it was that had happened to me years ago and I began to talk about it. For some reason that pisses people off. But I don't fucking care. You can get mad, then you can get glad in the same motherfucking pair of pants that your bitch ass is wearing. I don't do shit for you. To, if you want to speak on it, that's fine. I don't fucking care. I am not everyone's savior. I'm mainly looking out for my damn self. So if it makes me feel better to talk about things and to help other people, that's on me. That's my choice. I'm sorry it pisses you off so badly. Now let me get to where this all started last week. On the day that Bill Cosby was found guilty on three counts, I think it was three counts of actual rape in court, after all this shit that's been going on for years and years, all the women that have come forward, all the people who have said they've been raped or sexually assaulted by Bill Cosby, all these people, but only three of them, he was only found guilty on three counts. In a court of law, in a second court case, in a second hearing because the first one the jury was deadlocked. So this has been going on for quite some time. Crystal Kent, the girl who just nonstop had a bug up her ass because Jen didn't talk about rape and sexual assault. Crystal Kent gets on Facebook. F you CNN. You are not gonna ruin Bill Cosby on me. Muted. Couldn't have just kept that shit to yourself lady. Somebody sent me that. I'll tell you who sent me that but it's not the person you accused of sending me that it's somebody that you'd be very shocked and surprised has sent to me and once that first person sent it to me about five or six other people sent me the same thing because they knew the shit that you have said and done when it comes to me over the years and so they were like oh look at this so I look at it and I'm just like that day when he was found guilty and all that stuff was going on and people were talking about it online and I was seeing people come together at victims and survivors and, and supporters and then here you come and it's like you just take a shit on everything. Talk about keeping stuff to yourself. You couldn't, are you incapable of keeping that to yourself, Crystal? Are you incapable of that? Because the way that this reads is that you're more worried about the fucking Cosby show and you're more fucking worried about pudding pops than you are that people actually got sexually assaulted and went through all this bullshit for all these decades. You're not gonna ruin Bill Cosby on me. Bill Cosby ruined Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby ruined Heathcliff Huxtable. Dr. Huxtable, he was the, the character on the Cosby show. You do understand this, correct? That's a fictional character. That's a fictional character character, Crystal. Bill Cosby ruined that fictional character for you by raping people, by sexually assaulting people, by touching people inappropriately, by drugging them. Bill Cosby ruined that for you. Nobody else did that. What lady are you talking about? Keep it to herself. Which of the multiple, many people are you talking about that should have kept stuff to herself? So when I saw that, when I saw what you said, I took a screenshot and I posted it on my Facebook. Why? Because I don't fucking like you, Crystal. And because this is the shit you've been doing for years. For years now. As a survivor and someone who volunteers and works with people who go through shit like this, I am sick and tired of people asking, well, why didn't they say anything earlier? Why'd they wait all this time to say anything? Why did they... You want a perfect example of why people wait and don't say anything? Here it is. I'm gonna let you read that. That's an example, you bitch. 
That is an example of why people don't say anything. That is an example of why people keep it to themselves. That is an example of why rape culture is so rampant in this motherfucking shithole of a goddamn country we live in. And yes, I just fucking said that. And yes, I'm pissed off. So I shared it and I was like, here's an example. Here you go. Here's an example of the crazy fucking people on Vine that I dealt with for years. This is an example. It is now coming to light. The shit y'all used to do on the download of me on Vine, it's harder to do now because Vine doesn't exist. You don't have that medium. You don't have that platform to do the shit that you were doing before. You want to talk about bullying? I guess I could say y'all bullied me, but see, I'm a full grown fucking adult and I don't give a shit. You can go ahead and have your little fun, do your little games, and I know that's part of why y'all hate me because every time you tried me, I was like, whatever. Or either I'd hand you your ass back and keep it moving. Now let's talk about why I'm talking about Jeremy today. Jeremy and Crystal are like two little peas in a pod. Jeremy and Crystal are... I don't know. They had this friendship, this relationship. I don't know. I will post the link to the Facebook where I posted it on Facebook and the discussion that ensued. I will put that down below so you can go read it. There was a lot of stuff said about Crystal and Jeremy that I don't know if it's true or not. I don't care. It has nothing to do with the discussion. It has nothing to do with the actual topic. I know it was gossipy and I know a lot of people were like, oh my God, the tea is being spilled. But I didn't spill that tea because I don't know anything about it. But you know, People love to gossip and talk and that's fine and if it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's not. Y'all are adults. You can do what the fuck you want to do. But I want to bring up the fact that someone else, someone also brought up Tommy. Now, if you don't remember and you probably don't because I've done so many Viner videos, Tommy was a Viner. He ended up passing away in an accident. Um, a very strange accident. I'm not going to get all into what happened to Tommy. Tommy passed away and Jeremy and Tommy were really good friends and Crystal was friends with Tommy. I did get to meet Tommy in New York City at a Vine meetup. Uh, we did talk. As much as Jeremy likes to say Tommy fucking hated me, he might have fucking hated me, but he was super nice to me that day. And we did hang out for a few minutes. And then later that night, Jeremy, when your best friend was so drunk that he wasn't allowed in a bar, you let him sit outside for hours. Me and Gina went outside and sat with Tommy. Me and Gina went outside and tried to get Tommy to eat pizza. Me and Gina went outside and made sure Tommy had water. Because you, who loves him so much, and he's such your best friend, and you just blah, 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 you let him sit outside. That's fine. It's whatever. I understand you were drunk because that's basically how you live the majority of your life is fucked up drunk. So you want to talk shit and say that I lied about Tommy being nice to me and saying that I, you know, this, that, the other thing. Just saying the stupid shit that you say and the stupid shit that you do. That's just how you are. So the next thing I know last weekend, people start sending me screenshots of Jeremy basically cussing people out. Here's a few of them. I think they're song lyrics. I don't know, but they very easily apply to me. Another thing that Jeremy says all the time is that he wishes I would die or that someone would kill me. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm appalled at that. I've said stuff like that before and it's not nice and it's not good. I take ownership of that. But Jeremy has said multiple, 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 multiple times that he wishes I would be murdered, that someone would kill me. So, he starts putting up these posts and I'm, it's very apparent that they're about me. So my friend Megan, y'all remember Megan, she's been in a few videos with me. She confronts Jeremy about it. And he's like, oh, I'm not talking about Jen. Um, I'm mad because somebody brought up Tommy. Okay, Jeremy, let's have a heart to heart right now. It is time for you to stop using Tommy as an excuse for all of your shitty behavior. I'm probably pissing a lot of people off by saying this, but I do not fucking care. And I'm crossing myself with that. I do not fucking care, bitch. You need to stop getting mad every time somebody says the word Tommy. You need to stop using that as an excuse to go off on people. This girl simply said that, that Crystal invited you, Tommy, and some other guy to her house and that something happened, I'm not even going to get into it, so that she could get some revines. She, I didn't say that. Somebody else brought up Tommy, but every time somebody brings up Tommy, you take that as an opportunity to get pissed off, to start cussing people out, to start vaping in the camera, to start throwing the, the finger. And I don't think Tommy would want you to do any of that in his name. I only met him one day. He was very nice to me. He was a sweet person. And I'm sure he's very happy wherever he is and just sitting there and just not even paying attention to this bullshit. Every time somebody says his name, 
you start a fucking fight. And it's time to stop that shit. I have had friends pass away. I have had family members pass away. I don't get pissed off every, every time somebody says their fucking name. It's an act. It is very transparent. Everyone can see through it. And you need to stop. Now go be pissed off because I don't fucking care. It's time someone told you this. So then Crystal, she starts getting upset and she's, oh, Jen Dent is bullying me because Jen Dent put up a screenshot of something you actually said about actual rape victims who had to go through a court case, who had to go through a trial, who had to go through the media shitstorm. And here you are more worried about the fucking Cosby show than you are the people who were actually sexually assaulted. That makes literally no sense to me. And then you want to say that you're being bullied. Then you start sending random people messages. Here's, here's some. Here's some. You want to start sending messages to people. Oh, you think what Jen did is doing to me is funny? Nobody's doing shit to you. You created this situation in the political environment that we are in, in the way that the world is today, with the Me Too movement. As much as that has spanned the universe, I will put a link down below that it, you have got to click on it. It's called Me Too Rising, and it's an actual globe, and you can click on it to see where this movement started and all of the things that have happened because of the Me Too movement. And Cosby just got found guilty on three charges of rape and sexual assault, and your answer is to get online and victim shame people and victim blame people and ask, why are they ruining a fictional character for you? What the fuck are you doing? But now people are doing stuff to you. Now Jen Dent again is doing something to you. You are a pussy fucking bitch. A pussy ass fucking bitch. Because you want to talk shit. And you want to go on and on about how you know Curtis's brother. And how Jen Dent is using rape victims for getting famous on an app. Bitch, I already had a lot of followers before I ever started talking about rape and I lost a shitload of followers because I talked about rape. To this day, I am convinced that the only reason I did not get verified on that app is because I refuse to sit back and just shut the fuck up. I've been told by someone who actually ran that app that I should have been verified, but that there were certain people who really just didn't want that to happen. But who are you, Crystal? Nobody! Nobody fucking knows who you are! Except for your little group of merry fucktards. Nobody knows who you are. So then you want to sit there, oh, Jen Dent's being mean to me and she's bullying me and she's cyberbullying me and she's trying to ruin my Vine reputation. And when you said that, that's the funniest shit I heard in 15 minutes. Your Vine reputation? What Vine reputation? You ask the majority of people who are on that app and they have never fucking heard of you. Ever. And the people who have heard of you think you're dumb as fuck dancing around in your kitchen to Hanson putting down rape victims. Girl, I am so sick of your shit. Every time you say my name, I am going to post that picture and other shit that I have. Every time you say my name, I'm going to do this. I'm going to remind you what a dumbass you are. Vine is dead. The only reason I talk about it so much is because I look at my analytics on my YouTube channel and it tells me what my most popular videos are. It tells me what my most popular playlists are. And Crazy Viner videos is always either number one or number two. So for those of you who don't want to hear about Vine, I don't give a flying fuck. I appreciate y'all watching my videos, but when it comes down to it, this is my platform. And I'll talk about what I want to. Right now I'm going to talk about you. Vine is dead. There is no Vine reputation. The fact that you hold on to it so hard tells me you really don't have much of anything in your life. You want to victim shame, victim blame, get mad at somebody for ruining the Cosby show for you? Bill Cosby did that. These rape victims didn't do that. Jeremy, you want to get mad at somebody? Just get mad at them. Don't invoke the name of Tommy every time you want to get mad. It's not what how people would want to remember him. It's some fucking drunk douchebag who vapes getting mad every time somebody says, Ta! Can't even get the whole word out. You're fucking pissed off and going the fuck off on people. Nobody's doing anything to you. You did this to yourself when you posted that dumb shit. You did this to yourself. Just like Bill Cosby did this to himself, bitch. Honestly, Crystal, just go fuck yourself. Stay mad. Put on your mad pants 
and stay mad. Just stay mad because it makes me laugh. It also makes me laugh. Last weekend, I was out. I was in Seattle. I was in Oregon, Portland. I was out doing my thing. Y'all think I'm dwelling on this? I'm not. You're the ones who are pissed off. You pissed yourself off by saying something stupid and getting called out on it. Here's an idea. Shut the fuck up about rape because every time you open your mouth about it, you fucking stick your foot in your own mouth. I've been wanting to address you for years, but I just was sitting back and waiting because I knew eventually you would do some dumb shit. Every time you say my name, I'm gonna blast your ass. Every fucking time. And when people tell me, oh, it's not worth it, you're just giving her attention, I don't care. I don't care. Every time you do this shit, I'm going to blast your ass. Okay? Just so we're straight. Jeremy, fuck you. Crystal, fuck you. Trash. T-R-A-S-H. Trash. And if Vine comes back, people still won't know who the fuck you are. And my job is not to take up for every female on this planet. So if you're a female and you're a dumb fucking female, then I'm not taking up for your ass. Basically, I stand up for myself. I am a rape victim. So if I see something that upsets me and I want to post it, I'm doing that for myself. I can't take care of everyone. That's something I'm getting very tired of. I don't stand up for all women. If you're a dumb cunt, you're a dumb fucking cunt. This video is awful. This is like the most angriest I've ever been doing a video. When I'm done with this video, I won't think about it anymore except for when I'm editing it. And then when your dumb ass pops up again, which is fine because I'll just ev eviscerate your ass again. Stupid bitch. Anyway guys, that was my video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. It was super fucking petty, so I know a lot of people will. Anyway guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you so much. Please click the little bell icon down below so it will alert you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays on this channel. I also have a vlog channel that I was doing vlogs Monday through Friday, but for right now I'm gonna start trying to do one weekly vlog on this main channel. So check that out. I will put those up on Fridays. That's it. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm so mad. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye. People that do the things that people tend to look down on like, oh, well, that's just because they're talented at that or that's just because they have that skill, but they shouldn't be charging that much money. We charge a certain amount for a reason.